Hey, what? Well, how's it going? Blue Eyes are here. I'm still sick. Uh, if you guys haven't known, you can always go to our Discord and check out my updates uh, channel. That's where you'll know what's going on, why aren't the videos coming out, that kind of thing. So we're a day late on this. But finally, our first free endeavor has come out, which is pretty cool. I wanted him, but it was just kind of out of a thing of necessity. Like, I just wanted an endeavor. I didn't really care if it was Smash Fest or not. So EX is a pretty good um, bargain, at least for me. <laughs> Okay, so now we have an intelligence balance type endeavor. I was expecting him to be maybe a defensive type or yeah, defensive type or tank. I think one of those I would prefer. A balance type is okay, especially with the kind of stats he has. Now going over stats, he's all around pretty good when it comes to it. His passive ability is he's immune to burn, obviously, and his defense goes up by 7%. So remember how I say 4500 is that sweet spot I say you need to have, like that's the minimum? Well, since it's a 7% increase, he's pretty much going over that anyway. So at least all of his stats are over 4500, which is good. All around good. He's a good unit. One you might even use later on. So if anything, I say 99 luck this one. We move over to a special attack which is Hellburner, which I think it looks pretty cool. Compared to the other one who just does like a spray of fire, this one is based off if you've seen the anime, which I'm assuming you have, when he fights the Nomu and he grabs it by the head and he burns it and then the heat turns blue. That's that's some kick ass stuff right there. So this one has a pretty awesome looking special attack, which does decent damage too. Unfortunately, there is no burn. So again, remember this, no burn to his attack. It's a bit of a downfall. I was hoping there'd be a burn, but no, there isn't. Then we move over to Gadget Conditions, and honestly, like all the other balance type characters that I normally cover, it's really your choice. I preferably would probably go with lowering his SP cost or SP management in general and being able to shoot out his special attack as much as possible. I think that's the best idea, at least for me. His attack has a low cost, it's only 100. He has 167 SP. You increase his SP, he'll be able to shoot that thing out plenty of times. And Endeavor isn't a fast character either, so you probably want the invincibility frames of his special attack. So overall, we have a pretty good Endeavor here who has very little faults, his defense is a bit lower, but it's not bad at all, especially when you consider his defense up by 7% if it's passive. And really, this is just a unit you can build upon. If you have training for an Endeavor, it just makes him better. Overall, a really good free unit to use. I would say even to like on par with the free uh, Shigaraki we got a while ago in the Villa Royale. Alright, that's it for this breakdown. I want to come back with summoning, but I'll probably do it when I feel like absolutely better. That way I don't have to like half-ass it. Devil, we have a few new summoning banners, some bait banners, and then a new Smash Pass being Smash Pass Momo, which I want to try to summon for, but uh, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to do it. But getting a 5-star general is my overall goal for any summoning. Other than that, it might be a little bit longer until you see more frequent videos. Uh, please bear with me. Again, you can always just check up on the Discord. Link down in the description. And I'll definitely see you guys next time. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, all that stuff. Other than that, I'm done. Bye.